Hey guys, it's Kayla and welcome to my sweatpants. Today I'm going to be doing the rainy day book tag created by that bookie, linked below, because it's rainy out and it's been rainy out for about three days now and This is Henry. Mwah! Question one. Uh, Rain, pick a book that makes you cry every time you read it. Now, since I have not reread a book yet, although I am currently rereading Alice in Wonderland, but Alice in Wonderland doesn't make me cry. My most recent cry was last week. It was for I Sat Rat, and it was a Monster Calls by pa Patrick Ness. This was so good. I didn't know. <laughs> I knew the main basics of it. I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. This is everything. It speak to me personally on so many levels. I feel like even if I hadn't gone through the things I have gone through, that this still would have made me cry. It was just, it was such a great read. And if you haven't picked it up, Go get it. Sat in my car and cried after work before I drove home. So good. Question two. Puddle. Pick a book where the world is underwater or mostly around water. I'm going to pick The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. Ocean's in the title and it's kind of, you're, I mean, throughout the book you're kind of wondering, okay, what is this? ocean at the end of the lane and it's just it's not the main part of the story but it comes in clutch for me it was like the most beautiful part of the book the most memorable i love that book i listened to it on audio audiobook it was told in first person narrative so it just felt like he you were just sitting there listening to his story and just a story from his childhood and the magical greatness that happened I love it. If you have not read a Neil Gaiman book, please do so. I don't think it matters what it is. Rain Boots. Pick a book with a character with a damned soul. Easy. Ashley Cordova from Night Film. Yeah. Do you think she had a damned soul? Hmm? Huh? If you read that book, let me know. Can't really talk too much about it, but it's a great mystery. If you're looking for a good mystery for October, read Night Film. Uh, question... I don't know what. Umbrella? Pick a book that was big and comforting. Definitely a Game of Thrones. I was just in a time where I wanted to rewatch the series. I got hella depressed. So I picked up the first book and I seriously devoured it. Probably in two days. I read it on ebook, so... The font was big and I just click, 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 click. And for me, it was just a perfect rewatch for season one. Like, it was pretty good. Rainy day movie. Pick a book that was turned into a movie that you love to watch on rainy days. Mm, I feel like all my go-to movies aren't from books. I don't know, I think about this. I want to say Harry Potter movies. The last time I watched those, I binged those when I was on maternity leave. That was like two over two years ago. It's been a while. On this rainy day, I've just been binging YouTube videos. So yeah, let's say Harry Potter movies. Coffee. Pick a book that you couldn't get enough of the hot and steamy romance. Definitely Aelin and Rowan. Let's see, what book is that? Queen of Shadows? I mean, nothing really has happened yet. I still haven't read Empire Storms, but I know it's coming. And I love it. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Penny. Penny? How old are you? Are Pink. You Pink? <laughs> two. Two? Yeah. See, I'm two. Show. Pick a book with a main character who has an amazing best friend. 
definitely Arsinaway and Jules from Three Dark Crowns. I just got the book, but I'm too lazy to go get it. It's over there in the living room. But I got it. Such a great friendship. Such a great... There's great protection. There's great friendship before boys and after boys and regard I mean it's just a it's just a great friendship in books I've seen a lot of talk about fr like YA friendship especially with girls and how it's not always there it's there with these two like Jules and Arsinoe grew up together they're like sisters but they're not they're friends I truly think they're friendship is genuine and I hope nothing ever changes that. Gutters, pick a book where the world is dirty and grimy in the way that you would imagine it. Well I haven't finished it yet but I'm currently listening to Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman and Linden Below definitely is grimy and dirty and there's a lot of sewers and a lot of tunnels and a lot of stairwells and underground subways. It's, there's a lot of that. I envision it very dirty and wet and dirty. Cuddly Pet. Pick a book that had out of this world or very enjoyable animals in it. Well, there's Jules's lion cat. I can't think of what it is. Cougar, panther, jaguar. Mountain lion thing. Big ass cat. There's that. It's a badass. I mean, it's not fantastical as in it's like, you know, has wings. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. All the other familiars in Three Dark Crowns as well. Like, there's a rooster. There's a lot of birds. Last question. Sweet treat. Pick a book that had the sweetest ending. Um, I don't read sweet books. I will say Paper Girls, Paper Girls 1 had like a sweet ending, but not like a sweet ending. So, context. You want to see it? Uh, uh. Okay, so that's all the questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. If it's raining where you are, I tag you to do this. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Say bye! Bye!